Hello everyone, welcome. I hope you all are doing well today. Today we are going to be looking at the Polly Pocket Bubble Aquarium playset. I'm not showing it to you in the box because I already opened it because I honestly didn't think I would do a video on this set. For some reason I get it in my head that you guys don't want to see anything other than vintage Polly Pocket and brand new Polly Pocket. But I'm thinking that's probably a silly notion. At least I'm hoping it is because this set is definitely neither vintage nor particularly new. So here it is, the Bubble Aquarium set. Like I said, this is like a year or two old. I actually didn't get it when it first came out because I just thought, I don't know, that was back when I wasn't really getting all the Polly Pocket sets. I still don't get all the Polly Pocket sets, but I do get more than I used to. And when this one came out, I just thought, eh. I don't need it, so I never got it. But recently I was at Walmart and they had them clearance down to $11, so I finally got it. I just love the way it looks. It looks so cute displayed. I actually ended up really liking this set once I got it and opened it up. So the front just looks like a fish bowl. We see a pink jellyfish, very happy there. We can see a starfish. This is actually inside this orange little starfish, but he is smiling away as well. We have the Polly Pocket logo there in front. Some seaweed here and here. Here we have a little purple fish. We can also see through to the inside of the playset. On both sides we have these pink shells. That is how the set closes. And on the back it is blue and bubbly and we have more little sea creatures, a starfish, another fish, and a seahorse. Now one nice thing about this set is it's really easy to throw all the pieces in when you're done playing because it is just wide open here on top. One bad thing about it is if it it tips over all your pieces are going to fall out. For me this isn't an issue because it's just displaying on a shelf but for kids that could get pretty annoying so you'd probably want to store all the pieces in a bag. So to open the set you just have to pop that one and this one and and maybe that one again. There we go and it just lays out like this. So let's just start over on this side. Not too much going on. This is our clear blue side. We have that green seaweed. We also have this spinning orange starfish. He has five little pegs and there's also pegs scattered all throughout. This right here is actually removable. This set comes with bubbles and so you can fill up this tray with bubbles and then one of the accessories is a bubble wand which we'll see in a minute. I guess this is so that you can easily clean this off. You can take it to the sink or just take it away from your set completely so you don't get bubbles on your set. It has this little notch here underneath. It fits in right there. So we can just pop this back into place. There we go. Let's go over here to this side before we look at the middle. So here we have some more blue with sea creatures and pegs and seaweed. But we also have this spinning area here with a sea turtle in the middle. He's sadly not removable, but look at how cute he is with all those hearts on his back. Of course, this little spinning platform has five pegs and adorable graphics of different sea creatures. That does it for both sides of the compact. Let's look at this big sand castle. So starting at the bottom, we have this big pink shell door that flips down. Inside we just see one peg. We also have a peg on the wall here. We have a couple more pegs here at the top as well. Hmm, what color would we call this? Kind of a pinkish orange coral color. It's a big slide that wraps around the sand castle. We also have a peg down here on the ground. On this side we can see this super cute orange shell swing. The dolls kind of fit inside between this pearl and starfish. On this side of the sand castle we see two adorable pink seahorses with a heart between them. Up here we have a peg, another peg, and another peg. Move around, we have a little hiding spot for a doll or a creature. We see one peg here and another one up here. So you can decorate your sandcastle quite a bit with all of the mini accessories you get. Now the top of the sandcastle is a very interesting feature. I had mentioned that you get bubbles with this set and this set actually makes the bubbles for you. 
This pink flag on top of the sand castle, it actually lifts up the bubble wand. So you would fill this compartment with bubbles and this little nozzle here blows out air. So as you push up the wand, it also pushes out air and bubbles would go a flying. I also just noticed that there appears to be a peg here on top of the bubble wand. So you could actually put a little creature on there and they could just hang out with the bubbles, I guess. Now I have actually already tried out this feature. My daughters wanted to try it out as soon as we opened the set. And I gotta say, I'm not a huge fan. It blew a couple of bubbles, but they kind of popped very quickly and then bubbles just started foaming up and overflowing and it was just a big mess. So I wouldn't recommend doing that really but you know maybe you'd have fun with that. I haven't tried out the bubble wand yet. I still need to do that. I'm sure that one works much better. So there is the set. Now it's time to look at all the creatures, dolls, and accessories we get. So we'll go ahead and start with the bubbles. I've actually not opened these. They are sealed. When we tried out the bubble blowing mechanism here at the top we just used bubbles we already had but they come in this super cute pink bottle with a Polly Pocket sticker all around and you can even see the little sand castle from the set on it we get this big sea turtle bubble wand this is the one that would fit in right here so he goes right there and you can just dip him in the bubbles and below all the bubbles. Like I said, I haven't tried this out yet, so I'll have to do that in the near future. I don't think I'm going to be doing it in this video though, but I'm sure it works like any normal bubble wand would. We get a rubbery blue and white floaty. We've seen these many, many times. An orange boat with a purple sail. An orange ship, we have a place here to stand. The only weird thing is that there's no hole on the bottom for this to really attached to the set. It's more for just sitting in the set. We get this gold shell chair and to go with it we get this purple vanity which I kind of think is an odd choice for this set. It's also very cheaply made. The legs are really skinny. I just don't really find this piece very necessary honestly. We get the pink seahorse seesaw. We also get an orange treasure chest. I think this one's a pretty decent one, if I can get it open here. Because the gold is actually painted inside, some aren't, some are, and this is a pretty big one. I'm not sure I've seen another one in this exact size. And a very satisfying snap. We get this quite large, very cute pink clam that opens up and inside it's a bed. We can see a blanket, a little starfish, a pearl, and a pillow. I think this is so cute. It's a really nice hinge, not just a bending plastic hinge like we get with this treasure chest. We get a real working hinge. It doesn't snap closed or anything, but still, I really like this. Moving on to our animals now, we have a blue narwhal, a pink dolphin, a purple seal. We also get this purple stingray. This one is interesting because its tail is up like this and it allows Polly to actually be able to stand on the stingray. Now I absolutely love this little guy, a pink jellyfish. He's so cute. Although this might be cuter than the jellyfish. Look at this super cute greenish blue snail. He is so tiny. Look at him. He is the cutest little thing I have ever seen. I dare you to say that he's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. I dare you. Go ahead. Head. Say it. And we get all of these little guys, a pink shell, a pink seahorse, a pink crab, a blue fish, and an orange starfish. And for dolls, we get Polly in a pink bathing suit and a mermaid doll. Look at her, so cute with her purple mermaid tail. And it looks like she is wearing a pearl necklace and her hair is this bluish green color. So there you go, the Polly Pocket Bubble Aquarium. I honestly didn't expect to like this set as much as I did. I bought it because it was pretty cheap and I thought it would be super cute to display on my shelf, which it is. But I also think the set itself is really fun to play with and I'm really glad that I got it. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.